Hey guys, Luke of Legends here, and welcome to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Lucat. This is a new series I will be starting that looks at, or should I say, looks at, all of the incoming information for the new Pokemon Sword and Shield. This will not interrupt any currently occurring series, mostly Pokemon this lot, and is mostly just kind of a quick discussion and analysis for the information presented. It's something I can handle quick and easy to get more content out to you guys. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So today we are covering the reveal trailer and all of the information covered in the recent Pokemon Direct about Pokemon Sword and Shield. In terms of my general thoughts, I think the reveal trailer shows us so much a lot about the game, about the region, about the world, especially compared to the previous reveal that they had with Sun and Moon where they legitimately just dropped names and even then we actually technically knew about that before because of the leak so it's a very underwhelming direct and we didn't get any actual gameplay until a little bit later but with this direct they showed off the region they showed off the starters they showed off the character models and designs they showed off a little bit of the battles they showed off those beautiful graphics and they just showed off a whole bunch of really awesome things in Sword and Shield just as that solid hook the only thing that I wish they did show was possibly the cover characters. I think that would have really sold everyone today on Galar and Sword and Shield. But I th personally think that they're waiting just a little bit to show off those legendary designs, and I think just showing the logos perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. It was still a really awesome reveal. As for some of the information we do not we do know about. There are a few things that have been confirmed by the reveal trailer and the direct. We first off have a vague release date in late 2019. It's a little early spec speculated, but I'm gonna guess sometime in about November probably is where it's gonna release, since Storm Shield will absolutely be system sellers for the Switch, and Pokemon has consistently released around October, November, and having it too far back will cause them to miss a lot of the holiday shopping season, especially Black Friday. Uh, so that's just a very early prediction, but that's my current take on it. We also know that we are going back to the traditional gym format. We said it in the direct itself, and that the goal is to beat the gyms and become the champion. We are not going back to any sort of island challenge or something like it. And I'm fine with that. Sun and Moon were very obviously the exceptions to the rule about how Pokemon works. That's why they had island challenges. That's why they had a lot of SOS. They had the rides. And they had all this stuff that made it a lot different from the normal Pokemon region. So I don't think it would actually fit to go back into a pseudo island challenge and try to do that for Galar. Especially Galar is one that shouldn't be trying to do it. Finally, we have information that we do have traditional battling is back. We saw it through the Mancino and the Pikachu battle. Uh, I don't mind Pokemon Let's Go, I thought it was fine, but I did think that the capture style where you catch Pokemon primarily got really old really quickly. So I'm pretty happy that they are going back to the usual traditional style of Pokemon gameplay, even if people are kind of getting a little sick of it. I think in this case, Pokemon should stay how it's always been. So those are kind of my thoughts on the information we do have. So finally, I do want to give some stuff on what I personally want to see going forward just a little bit. And this is more like general stuff, but it is stuff I still want to see. Probably the biggest one is if this region will use either HM's ride Pokemon or the partner skills in Pokemon Let's Go. Because HMs are a kind of outdated concept these days, so I think going back to them would both upset people who would become accustomed to Sun and Moon Ride Pokemon and Pokemon Let's Go Partner Skills. It would absolutely upset those, and it shows that they haven't actually learned from both the Alola region and Gen 7 and Let's Go. So I don't think those will be returning, but who knows, and I hope they aren't returning. 
Um, so we'll probably see either Ride Pokemon or Partner Scrolls. I'm going to gun on the latter just because I think Ride Pokemon would be a bit intrusive into Galar's feel. It's more industrial feel. I also want to see a bit of how the game speed is of Galar and Pokemon Shield and Sword. Because uh, slow battles will significantly hamper my experience with it. I don't like slow battles. I don't like Platinum that much. That's why I like Black and White. That's why I like Emerald a little bit. That's why I like Fire Red. I think if the game's too slow, it'll just lose its pace. And I think that's one of the reasons I didn't come back to Sun and Moon that much is because it's kind of a slow game in terms of battle speed, and it takes forever to actually get going within the story. So I'm hoping for that faster game speed for this game. And then the rest of the things are kind of like more general stuff I'm hoping to see. Like obviously new mons, new TMs, new characters, but I do want to see more new and less of going back to older gens and doing stuff with older gens. Because I don't mind Alolan forms, I thought they were well implemented, and I don't mind most Mega Evolutions, aside from the fact that Gen 1 got most of them. But, I do think that this nostalgia pandering style of always going back to Gen 1 in some way, shape, or form is kind of getting old because it means we don't have as many new interesting Pokemon, and we just have all of these old recycled Pokemon. Especially in the case of Alola forms, which just had very few things switched out about them. So I want to see more new and less of the going back to nostalgia stuff, going back to Gen 1. I think we've had plenty of time to re-embrace Gen 1, especially with Let's Go, so hopefully they're not going to do that with this game. But that's pretty much all I have to say. I am so excited for Pokemon Let's Go. Just utterly feeling the hype. But that's all I have to say today, so thank you for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed.